These two, are they not the cutest things ever? Bit of cat spooning going on. That's it, lick your sister. Give her a good wash. <laughs> right, I'm off down the track, you two. Do you want some food before I go? Snacks, biscuits? No, just a bit of more love. Oh dear. Right, I'm off. <laughs> you are a funny thing, Flo. Hey Herbert, come with some food. Come on then. Hey everyone, quick catch up. Just done a quick six, well, say quick, six kilometers. Wasn't that quick actually. Um, down at my usual spot, actually, it's too dark. I'm normally stood just over there on the corner in the darker light. Thought I'd come and find a bit of a brighter light to try and stand under. Yeah, went to go to the track tonight. Uh, the, the lights were on. I looked on their website, they were open. So I've got my money ready, got a bag in my pocket, various other things on me. Went to the went to the uh, stadium. They had some people in there running around. Thought, oh, that's okay. There's some other people on the track. Went in to go to pay and was told, oh no, sorry, it's a private club night. It's a private early book night every Friday night. So inquired politely why it's not on their website. To be told, oh yeah, we can't update it. We're, we're, not, we're not sure how to update it. And I thought, okay. <laughs> 2020 you can't update your website with a simple bit of information but hey so now I know Fridays are out I can go well Mon Mondays you could go but I've got club night normally on a Monday Tuesday I could go Wednesday I can I can go and Thursday so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I could have cut that short couldn't I so yeah just ran around the road but in with a load of stuff in my pocket my lights as usual got my ones on my arms Got a big bag in here, got stuff hanging out, got gloves hanging out of my trousers. And I've got my beacon, you might be able to see. I've got my beacon twos on, which are heavier. Ran slower tonight, it was a it was the pace was 517 on average. And I've been down to 444 in the Kinvaras, so a little bit slower. I didn't break any PRs tonight, that's for sure. But yeah, good run, felt good, my legs felt good. Um if anything, my, if anything, it's just my lungs give up. My, my lungs give up before my legs. So if it's gone all noisy, it's because there's a train whizzing past in the background. There's a train track over there, obviously. So yeah, uh, enjoyed it though. Good run. Nice to get out. Always good to come out for a run. Still got yoga to do tonight when I get home. So usual drill, grab some food yoga, bath, and then just relax. Oh, tomorrow we're doing the, our club is doing the, marshalling the park run in Carlisle's, and I'm down as a photographer. So I'm gonna take some photos, I'm gonna take some video. I'll put some video on the channel. Although the weather is meant to be pretty dire. It's forecast to rain. It's also forecast to be strong winds starting in the next half an hour or so because there was, there was, I don't know if there still is, there was a severe weather warning up here. Originally they were saying uh, potential danger to life up to 70 mile an hour gusts. Don't know if that's still the case. So I'm going to scurry off home just in case because where I am at the moment, you can't, you probably, well, look, there's a bit of one, but there, there's tons and tons of tons and tons of trees down here so the last place I want to be when there's 70 mile an hour gusts is uh, somewhere where trees could fall on top of me so yeah I'm gonna shoot home might catch might um, catch up with you when I get back we'll see if there's more to this video than I obviously did and if there's not wherever you are stay safe if you're out running watch out for cars that's becoming my catchphrase isn't it funny eh? Um, watch out for cars Wow could have to put on a t-shirt and uh, yeah, have fun. Enjoy your evening. I'll be up bright and early in the morning for park run. It starts at nine, so I've got to get there before, obviously beforehand, start taking pictures and things. And yeah, have a good one. Catch you later. Take care, bye. Hey everyone, home from running. Just wanted to have a quick uh, word about a few shoes that I've got my eye on actually. I'm just, I've got a bath on the go. I'm gonna do some yoga after that, have something to eat. So tonight, ran in the Beacon 2s which I still love this shoe, still, it's a fantastic shoe. 
really comfortable love the midsole in it L just love the shoe it fit for me it, it's a absolutely brilliant fit and i went from those old i'll show you i'll grab them real quick i went from these bear with me i'm holding this in my hand so i went from these which was th these were like 30 pounds or something from TK Maxx. They're like they're New Balance Fuel Cold. I have to look at them because I can't remember what they are. Fuel Cold Coast, and I have no idea which version they are because apparently I think there were four versions of this shoe. This might even be version one. I have no idea, but it was like it was 30 pounds from TK Maxx, and this was fine to start running in. Not not much to it. Graduated from that into the Beacon Two, and the Beacon. This this is. Lovely, absolutely love this shoe. I never tried version one. Apparently, there I know there are people out there that prefer version one of this shoe. This is this is the the Beacon Two. I love it. And then the only other running shoe I've got are these uh, Saucony Kinvara Tens, which now this I really love. I, I I'm enjoying the the much thinner. Is that, the, is that the right way of, uh, of explaining it? Uh, midsole on this, it's only a, a lower drop. Really like this. This reminds me of this type of shoe I used to run in back in the day when I was at school, when you didn't have shoes that had a thick midsole like this. I mean, and frankly, this was probably this would have been luxury. We were running in plimp soles and things that were like paper thin. You could literally feel it. You could feel everything through the sole. So loving these. Now, I've got my eye on a few other shoes. I've got my eye on, uh, if, if we stick with Saucony, I've got my eye on the Fast Twitch 9 at the moment. So but, but I, I don't know whether there's going to be a 10 that comes out this year. And I've got my eye on the A9. And again, I don't know whether there's going to be an A10 out this year. So they're both, they're both, I guess in the same category as this type of shoe, they're 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 they're. I guess they're getting into the racing flat kind of of shoe, so I've got my eye on those two. I've got my eye on New Balance, um, the fourteen hundred. Now there's the there's the V six. The version six is is still available on their website. I don't know if there's going to be a V seven. I have no idea. What, I don't know what New Balance are doing. And I had my eye on the Hanzo. The Hanzo, there, there was the, I, guess, I think that was, that was up to version two now, wasn't it? Um, that's supposed to be a, a, a fantastic shoe to run in. I did look, I was, I was quite taken by that 5280 that came out a little uh, uh, earlier, or last year. Although the only thing with that was, it was, if anyone saw that shoe, that was for that was really a fast miler shoe for people that land on the very front of their foot. So if you even if you land like midsole on that, I, don't, I think you're going to be in trouble with that shoe. So that was like a fast mile shoe, but an interesting concept, very light apparently. Um, the other shoes that I've got my eye on are Ultra actually. The um, as the Vanish are so the road racing shoe. And then they do and they do the cross country version of that shoe as well, which looks amazing. The Vanish XC or the XC Vanish, that looks fantastic. Like it's it's virtually nothing on the top, um, and the and uh, uh, and the the bottom and the sole of the shoe looks amazing. So, still st very interested in those. Not sure what else I would would tickle my fancy at the moment, but I'm really loving. The thought, the prospect of getting more shoes like the like the Kinvara with a lot less sole, a lot less cushioning. I don't mind. I, I'm quite happy running in these, but I don't think I want more cushioning. So some of those things like you know like the um, Nike Vapor Flies and all this sort of stuff and Zoot whatever, where they've they've got these massive um, massive heels on them and and things that. It does nothing for me whatsoever, and in fact, I I uh, I may be alone in this. I may not be. That I wish I was holding one here. That horrible. I don't. I really don't like that pointed heel on those, on those um, Nike shoes. I think it looks awful. It's like the sort. Of, it looks like you want to pick stones out of a horse's hoof with it. It's terrible. Um, just absolutely 
turns me right off. So never run in them. They might be fantastic, but they do nothing for me. So loving the loving the shoes with with less soul. Um, to me, they've got more soul if that if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm gonna go and jump in the bath. Gonna cut this short because uh, I've got I want to eat and just spend some time with the other half and the cats. So I will catch you tomorrow. Park run tomorrow. Gonna put some 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 things from that on the web. Uh, on YouTube. Um, so yeah, wherever you are, stay safe. If, you, if you're if still going out running, have a great time. Watch out for cars, like a new catchphrase, and uh, catch you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.